file events. In this video, we will cover how to install a APK file on a real device. So in the last video, we have covered how to install a APK file on the virtual devices and we have performed certain actions like we have inspect some elements on the APK file that we have installed on our virtual device. Similarly, we can install the APK file on our real devices. So in this video, we will cover that. So for that, you need a real device. So this is my Android phone. Here, you need to install one app that is mobile to PC screen nearly. So using this app, you can see the execution that is happening on your mobile on the web browser. So in uh, when we execute our automation script, we can see the execution happening on our mobile and we can mirror that screen on the our web browser. So I have installed this app and the, there are easy steps like you just need to copy this uh, web address and you have to copy and paste that web address here in your web browser so it will start mirroring your mobile screen in the web browser now once we are done with this you can connect a usb cable to your mobile phone and while connecting that mobile phone you will get the option like you have to connect without giving the data permission so you can deny this permission also you need to make sure that your usb debugging is on so for that you have to go to your mobile settings you can go to about phone here you will have the one option like software information here you have to click the multiple times on the build number so once you click on this uh, build number multiple times it will open one screen and where you will get all the developer options so i have already enabled these developer options and i can see the developer options here in this section you have to turn on oem unlocking usb debugging and you can also enable wireless debugging so these options you can enable so usb debugging enablement is must here once you are done with this you can go to your android studio or you can start your apm server here here once you start the apm server it is listening now on port 4723 and now we can connect to this mobile using some desired capabilities now if you want to check if this uh, is uh, connected or not you can open command prompt here you can give the command adb devices and you can see this device so this device is my mobile phone so now we can connect to this using some desired capabilities so now you can go to the inspector session here i have started the inspector session and i have already saved some desired capabilities so now this is my phone samsung a50 and you can see the desired capabilities for it like platform name is android platform version is 11.0 device name is samsung galaxy a50 automation name is your automator 2 and i want to install the same app that we have installed on our uh, virtual device so i will install this apk file and it will take this from the c drive so same desired capabilities you have to give for your mobile device here and once you save that desired capabilities you have to select that option from here and you can start your session and these details you can get from your android mobile so all the details you can get from the setting option so from here you can get all the details of your phone like what is the model name what is the Android version? 
what is the android version and all you can get this option so just to enable the usb debugging you need to have the developer options enabled and for that uh, you have to click multiple times on this build number once you click five to seven times on this build number it will enable your developer options and then you can set or enable the usb debugging from here now we can check whether we are able to install our apk file or not so i have this desired capabilities set here i will select the samsung a50 and i will start session now and we can check some uh, details on our uh, mobile screen so i will allow this and now you can go here just uh, make sure that your mobile is not locked while launching the app we can see the execution here now for the first time it will install some apm uh, settings so you will get the two apps now in your mobile phone one is apm settings and another is the automate app so this app so in couple of minutes it will install two apps like apm settings for apm services and another is automate app so now you can see it has opened this automate app in my mobile phone so it has installed this apk file properly I will click on this access button from my mobile and I can show you that the app is properly installed. So you can see one is APM settings for APM services and another is this automate app for which we have kept our APK file at C drive. This is our APK file. So this APK file is installed successfully on my real device. So in this way, you can install a APK file on your real devices.